In this lesson, we are gonna learn how to find the slope intercept, remember that's y equals to mx plus c, or y equals to mx plus b, or your teacher might use different letters, it doesn't really matter. Um, how to determine that if they give you a parallel line. So let's first talk about parallel lines. If, if two lines are parallel, then they look like that. Okay, so it's almost like you can think of a train, like a railway. Those rail, the, the rails are parallel. If they weren't parallel, well, yeah, the train wouldn't really, things wouldn't look too good. So the parallel is like a railway. What I want you to notice is that the distance of these two lines don't necessarily have to be the same. All that you must realize is that the distance between them stays constant. Can you see that? That distance is always constant. Now, if two lines are parallel, here is the most important part that you need to realize. When two lines are parallel, so let's say here, when, this is the most important, parts, I'm saying parts. When two lines are parallel, the slopes are the same. That's so important. The slopes or the gradient. Remember, gradient tells you how steep is the line, okay? So when two lines are parallel, we can see that the steepness looks the same. So this right here is the absolute key thing that you need to understand. When two lines are parallel, the slopes are, sorry, the slopes or the um, gradient are the same. So let me give you an example. And then we're going to do a few more. So let's, let me give you an example. And then we're going to do a few practice questions after that. So here's our first little example. It says, determine the slope intercept equation. Okay, so that means y equals to mx plus c of the line that goes through this point, And it is parallel to this line over here. So let me make sure that you guys understand exactly what we're doing. We need to find the equation of a line that is parallel to this one. So it's not this line, it's just parallel to this line. And then it goes through this point over here. So if I had to draw a diagram for you guys quickly, you don't have to draw a diagram in your tests, I'm just showing you what's happening. So if I had to quickly go draw this line, don't worry about how I draw it, um, it would look something like this, whoops. It would look something like that, okay? So this is not this is, this is this line over here. Now what we are doing is we are gonna try to find a line that is parallel to this one. So parallel, it could mean that it's gonna go like this, or like that, or like that, as long as these lines are parallel. So it's gonna be one of those lines, but they tell us that it's gonna go through the point minus four and two, which is somewhere over here, for example, minus four and two. So we're looking for this line's equation. Okay, so how do we actually do this? Well, what we are gonna do is we must remember that when two lines are parallel, the slopes are the same. So what is, so look at this line. What is the slope? Well, well done if you can remember that the slope is the number well, it's the m, right? It's the m. So the m for this one is a negative, and if there's no number there, then it's a one. So the slope of this number, of this line, sorry, is negative one. So that means that the slope of the line that we are trying to find is also negative one, because when two lines are parallel, their slopes are the same. So then we can go write out y equals to minus one x plus C, we don't know what the C value is. Uh, Kevin, yes we do, isn't it this one? No, that's this two over here, that's the C or the Y intercept of this line, but we're trying to find a different line, okay? The only thing that is the same between this one and this one is the slope, because they are parallel. So now what we do, if you can remember from previous lessons, to find the value of C, all you do is you ch take a certain point on that line, but they've given us the point, and so we can use that. And so we know that the minus four is an x value, and the two is a y value. So we can just say two 
is equal to, and then the x value is minus 4 plus c, and so 2 is equal to 4 plus c. And so if you had to then go work out the value of c, you would get 2 minus 4, which is negative 2. And so then if you had to write out the equation of this one, it would be y equals to negative 1x, negative 2. And so this is the answer. So for the rest of this video, we're just going to practice some more of these. So here's our next one. Determine the slope-intercept equation. So slope-intercept, what does that mean again? Y equals to mx plus c. I hope you guys are sick of that by now. If, if, if you are, I've done my job. <laughs> and they tell us that it is parallel to this line. So what you do is you look at this line and you say, okay, I know that this one in front of the x is the slope. Okay, so the slope is 3. So it means that the parallel line that we are looking for also has a slope of 3. There we go. And so now what we do to find the c value is we just go plug in this point over here. So we know that this, whoopsie Kevin, what's going on there? We know that this is the x value and this is the y value. And so now we can say minus 4 equals to 3 times 3 plus c. And so that's minus 4 equals to 9 plus c. And so if you're to get c by itself, it should be negative 13. And so you're going to end up with y equals to 3x take away 13 as the final answer. So you can see that the slopes are the same because they're parallel, but the y-intercepts, they're different. Here's another one. Now, I like this question because if you look at this equation, you can't say... If I ask you what's the slope, some of you are going to say, oh, Kevin, it's minus 6. Obviously, bro, I mean, it's the, it's the number in front of the x, right? But remember, guys, that you can't, um, the slope, the slope is the number in front of the x. You are right about that. But only when you have the equation written like this, where the y value is by itself, then you can say that this number is the slope. But at the moment, the y value is not by itself. So we need to do that first. So we take this equation and we rearrange it to get the y value alone. So the way we can do that is, uh, first of all, I think we can divide everything by 3. That's a good start. So what I did there is I divided everything by 3. Now I'm going to take the 2x to the other side so it will become a positive and the 4 would become a negative when I take it to the other side. Now, if I look at this equation, I can say, okay, this over here is the slope. So when two lines are parallel, they have the same slope. So I can go write out my equation, and the line that we are looking for would also have a slope of 2, because when two lines are parallel, they have the same slope. Then, to find... C, I can take this point, which is a x, and put it over there. And I can take this one here, which is a y, and I can put it over there. And so we end up with the following. So minus 4 equals to 6 plus c, and so c would be negative 10. And then I can write my final answer as y equals to 2x, because that's the slope or 2 is the slope, minus 10. And so this would be our final answer for this question.